What's good, YouTube? It's Gabe with the Hooks Fan TV. Back at you another video. Hey, look, man, like the content of this video, go hit that like button. Like the content of this channel, go ahead hit that subscribe. Uh, close to 300 subscribers, so I appreciate everybody who had hit that button. And if you haven't, go ahead, man, what you waiting for? So, look, I want to talk about Lamar Jackson and his interaction with Bernard Pollard on Twitter and why I think it matters, okay, for a couple of reasons, all right? So, let, let's get the backstory first, sorry. So, Bernard Pollard has been um, a Ravens, I would say a Ravens hater for quite some time. Now, before that, he was a Ravens player. He was on the Super Bowl team. He's on the Ravens for a couple seasons. And, you know, he was a great hitter, right? He could knock somebody out. Like, he did Stephen Ridley uh, for the Patriots. And, like, he did another Patriots player and earned the name Patriots Killer. He was a guy that if he got a lick on you, you was out, right? He couldn't do much else in coverage. He was a liability on that end. And that was his claim of fame. If he saw you, hit you, he knocked you out, right? Now... Since then, he's kind of taken um, his his media career in a kind of a direction where anything that Ravens mentioned, it's negative. Now, that could be he had a very poor relationship with John Harbaugh, especially at the end. Uh, I think he wanted to come back with the Ravens. John Harbaugh probably didn't want him. And that soured their relationship. That soured his relationship with the Ravens overall. And it seems like from that moment, he's been down on the Ravens, especially down on Lamar Jackson. He was down on Lamar Jackson since the night he was drafted. Uh, you can go back and look at the tweets about that. And it hasn't stopped. Now, the latest thing is about Lamar Jackson not being a top 10 quarterback. And he's saying all these things about oh, he's an athlete playing quarterback. He's a top 10 player in the league, but he's not a top 10 quarterback. That doesn't even make any sense. Um, saying things to Lamar Jackson, like, you know, because they, they, they get him getting in the Twitter exchange back and forth, saying things like, I could teach you how to read a defense, man up and throw from the pocket. And it's, it's just stuff that is really narratives that is, is hurtful to see that come from another black man talking about a black man, right? Because you're, you're, you're passing on stereotypes of Lamar Jackson that aren't accurate, that aren't true from trolls. Lamar Jackson goes in the pocket very well. Lamar Jackson reads defenses at a high level. We just did, I just did the video on um, him being one of the best decision makers in the NFL. You can't make top tier elite level decisions if... You can't uh, read the defense. Those two things don't go hand in hand, right? And the part of that I think is important is Lamar Jackson, this offseason, he has said, if you're going to speak ill on my name and you're not going to speak facts, you're going to speak these feelings and you're going to speak these things that aren't true, I'm going to respond to you. Now, he put out a series of tweets. I think they were pretty funny. Uh, we'll see if they're still up by the time I drop this video. Y'all can go check them out if they, if they are. Pretty much come at Lamar, pretty much come at Bernard Pollard in all aspects of his career and downplaying his career and stuff like that. Now, um, the downplaying his career thing I thought was funny, but you know, I will give Bernard Pollard his credit. He was an NFL player for several years and things like that, and it's hard, it's hard to do. All right. Um, I think that if his takes weren't so based in um, things that weren't true, they weren't they weren't so based in narratives that's heard from trolls and you know, things like that. He would be taken more seriously. But every time he talks about the Ravens, it's negative. It's very rarely that he says something positive about the Baltimore Ravens. And it's sad because you're a former player, right? Not saying every former player has to have a great relationship with his team, but it's like, dude, why does it sound like you go out your way to trash Lamar Jackson, trash the Baltimore Ravens? Why? But anyway, so Lamar Jackson puts out tweets, you know, going back and forth with uh, Bernard Pollard. And what I like about it is, like I said, this whole offseason, Lamar said, if you speak ill of my name, pretty much, I'm going to go at you. And I think it's important for these players to have that voice to say that, listen, you can say all you want, but just know I got a right to come back. And this this is some snap judgment of Lamar Jackson. Like I said, Bernard Pollard's been saying this since Lamar Jackson's been in the league. So now we're going on four or five years where Lamar hasn't said anything to Lamar Jackson. I mean, sorry, where um, Lamar Jackson hasn't said anything to Bernard Pollard. So four or five years of that building up, and, you know, he let him have it, which is well within his rights to do. And I think that what I saw was also, it's funny about the timing. Because the timing of this exchange, in the middle of the exchange, the NFL official page drops a highlight video of Lamar Jackson saying that he's him. You know, 37-12 and 12 record, this and that, that, that. You know, praising, praising Lamar Jackson. You know, Lamar Jackson says that, you know, I love the Baltimore Ravens. I love, well, I love the NFL. I love the Ravens. Thank you for picking me in the first round. And we're going to eat this year, right? And... Not to switch it to a contract thing, but it seems like he's really in tune with the Ravens, and he has been this whole entire offseason, right? 
Uh, Lamar Jackson is the way he's talking. He's saying he says a lot of we when we talk about the Ravens, and you know he mentions that when that when Ravens played Super Bowl versus the 49ers, he was rooting for the Ravens. Now obviously he's on the Ravens, so why would he say he's rooting for the 49ers? But you know you would probably take that one with a grain of salt. But still, it was it was good to hear, right? I think that these concerns about Lamar Jackson not signing a contract with the Ravens, it's, it's overblown. I think it's really just a fact of these are contract negotiations and they take time, all right? Especially when he doesn't have an agent. And I think that's something else that, that's, that's a story for another video. I like the fact that he doesn't have an agent. It's showing players that these agents, while they do they do, do work for you, they can help. Um, you can do this on your own as long as you uh, understand what's going on. You have proper representation as well. But... So, with Lamar Jackson and this Bernard Pollard thing, it's really just not about Bernard Pollard. It's about the national media as a whole. If you're going to say things about Lamar Jackson, please have it based in facts. That's, that's all we ask for. That's probably all he asks for. Um, he deserves to be criticized like every other quarterback in the NFL. Okay? Don't get me wrong. He's not above, he's not above criticism. He's not above reproach. There are things about Lamar Jackson's game that he needs to change and get better at. But these narratives about can he throw, he's a running back, he's an athlete playing quarterback. Stop that. Please stop that. Because you don't say that about Josh Allen. Why is Josh Allen not an athlete playing quarterback? And I'm not here to bash Josh Allen. I think he's a great quarterback. I'm just using him as an example. So when I hear these things said about Lamar Jackson, they're not based in any truth. They're based in, in, in narrative. They're based in feelings. They're based in what Twitter trolls and inter internet trolls say about somebody. So how can you be a reputable media source and say these things? And that goes for Bernard Pollard, ESPN, uh, whoever. You know, when I can I can almost gauge your football opinion about how you criticize Lamar Jackson. Not the fact that you do criticize him, because like I said, he's not above approach. He he does things that he should be criticized for. Especially when we're talking about on the field, that he should be criticized for. But once you start saying certain things about him. I can know. I already know. Uh, you're not serious. I don't think I listen to even talk football with you, right? There are certain ways to criticize people to make it relevant, and a lot of this stuff that, that I said about Lamar Jackson is not relevant to him. It's relevant to the stereotype of what a quote unquote running quarterback was or used to be, and that's not who he is. He Lamar Jackson, in his essence, is a QB who is a gifted runner. Simple as that, and um. These athletes have a voice. And Lamar Jackson, I think for the first time, is feeling comfortable in flexing that voice and really speaking out when somebody says something ill against his name. And that's a beautiful thing. Um, so when I saw the interaction on Twitter, it was funny. It was very funny, honestly. Especially watching it in a lot of time, waiting for him to you know tweet something else. But it has a bigger message that these athletes have a voice and that if you're going to speak ill on their name, be ready to defend your take. Because if you're just saying something for, for clickbait and views, that's not going to hold up. You're not going to gain any traction from that. You're not going to have any real weight from that. So just know that when you say something, have something that backs up. Have some facts with you. You know? So when I see the but I'm probably saying things like, I can teach you how to read a defense, man up, throw from the pocket. It's like, bro, come on, man. Are, are you are you an internet troll or, or, or are you a media analyst? What are you? Um... So, yeah, so Lamar Johnson going back and forth is bigger than just um, uh, he exposed his biggest haters. Bigger than that. It's it's a good message. It's a good thing for athletes out there. If somebody says something false in your name, you can speak on it, man. You have the right to do that, obviously. So I thought it was uh, interesting. Y'all go check out them tweets if they still up. Pretty funny. And I'm going to get out of here, man. It's your boy Gabriel with another fan TV. I'm out.